Hello everybody, we're back for another video, and I was trying to pick up the latest Dragon Balls Master Set, but my local card shop does not have any yet, so I decided I still want to open up some Dragon Ball cards. So I'm going to open up the Dragon Ball Super Card Game Fusion World Blazing Aura. I have opened up this set before off camera, I don't believe I've opened it on camera yet, so... We're going to be opening this up, and then I'm going to be talking about the newest Dragon Ball game as well. So let's just get right into this opening. I will also be opening up a few packs of Critical Blow as well, which actually might open up those first. And then I recently found these like cookies with like little cards in them. They were at box lunch, so I decided I needed to pick them up. So I've already opened this one. I bought two of them and here was like the little, I'm not sure if these are like stickers or like little cards, but I got Ultra Ego Vegeta, which is, this is really cool. And then I got Jiren. And Ultra Instinct Goku. Like, this one is super shiny. It's fun opening up these and the wafer inside was pretty good too. So here are the Critical Blow packs that I picked up at my local card shop. Let's open up the first one we're starting off with. Uh, Grandpa Gohan on the pack cover. Have you guys played any of the new Sparking Zero yet. I definitely have been enjoying it a lot. One of my favorite characters that I've been enjoying playing as, ooh, we got Gamma 1 and Gamma 2, and then just a regular rare. Back to what I was saying, I have enjoyed playing Gohan and of course Goku and Vegeta are also fun to play as well, but one of the, my least favorite characters, mostly because I don't have a lot of practice with Broly yet, he's definitely one of the harder characters for me to play just because he's so bulky, though he can take a lot of damage. But he's just not as quick as some of the other characters, so I just gotta increase my Broly skills, but I really like how they have a, the Dragon Ball Z version of Broly, and then they have the Super Broly as well, so it's been really cool seeing those different characters. Oh my gosh! Wow! We got an SPR, and I just have four packs of these, and they're just like random packs, but we got SS3 Goku with the halo. Oh my gosh, this is like the texture of this card. I haven't seen this card before, mostly because I haven't really opened a whole box of Critical Blow, which has been random packs that I pick up. Oh my gosh, wow. I don't know if this is going to be like the pack. I mean, the highlight of this video, but I can't believe. I thought I was just going to be pulling at the most rares from the the four random packs that I got that were left in my local game shop. I'll be right back. Gotta get a sleeve for this one. All right, we gotta sleeve this up. I mean, I wanted to pull like Beast Gohan from the Critical Blow set because that card looks really sick, but uh, I'll take this. I'll take this any day. So that's definitely a hit for the box. For not not the box. The two packs that we've opened so far of Critical Blow. Oh my gosh, crazy. Let's get on to this next pack. I think that's probably going to be the highlight of this Critical Blow opening. Oh, I saw something shiny. Oh, we got the leader card, Gohan. Yes. Gohan is definitely one of my favorite characters. I've also been liking playing with Bardock and Turles is funny. Like, I also like the different interactions that you get. Like, if you fight against, like, Bardock's, like, the character and you're fighting against 
Goku, there'll be like those little lines. Ooh, we got a nice orange Piccolo rare. Cumber. And then, ooh, we got an SR Goku. This one's so cute. And I also like you that you can play with like young Go Goku. Well, of course you can play with young Gohan too. I haven't really played with the young Gohan or like the teen Gohan in battle training. I'm not talking about like the story mode because I definitely have played in the story mode in Gohan's route, but not like as if I was just choosing a fighter to either play against like the CPU or someone offline. All right, so I don't, I think we got an SR and an SPR. That's pretty good for just four random packs. All right, let's see if we can get anything else. We got this leader card, Fortune Teller Baba. My sister thinks it would be funny if we, the Fortune Teller Baba would be a playable character. Well, we do have Bobbity as a playable character. Um, one of the characters that I'm hoping that we get as a playable character maybe in like a dlc oh my gosh Ooh, i mean it's just an uncommon card but this broly awaken card is really cool like top tier <laughs> uncommon card all right well it's not last pack magic but i will take this broly card that is sick this version of Broly is one of the playable characters with his hair this like a green purpley tealish color. It's really cool. I, I do like this outfit of Broly's. Back to the playable character that I was talking about that I would like to see in the future. I think it would be fun to have Chi Chi as a playable character. Because Chi Chi does know martial arts, so I, I know she wouldn't be probably that strong. But we got Yajirobe, though. Yajirobe is crazy. I can't believe he can recover his health. Like, I got beat by Yajirobe just because he recovered health and then I am have damage and I can't recover my health. It's crazy. I'll give you guys the codes in this video. I definitely have collected enough of those. I'm trying to think of- there was quite a few other characters I think it'd be fun to get as a playable character. Oh my! And I just think it'd be funny if we got Pilaf as a playable character, though I don't know what he would be doing for his ultimate move. Well, we got Mr. Satan, too. Uh, I kind of like his ultimate move with the present. That is just too funny. Let me know if you guys want to see as a playable character in Sparking Zero in the future. All right, we got our first SR of the box, Zamazu. Yeah, I've definitely played with Zamazu. Uh, like, once... Man, one of the battles in the story mode in Goku's route. Oh gosh. Grade 8 Vegeta. I I had to take the lower difficulty route and beat Grade 8 Vegeta at the lower difficulty because uh, that was one of the toughest battles so far. I haven't gotten through like most of the routes yet, but Oh boy, Great 8 Vegeta is strong. No wonder they are planet destroyers. Uh, goodness. We got Kale, Goku Black. Oh yeah, having other Gods of Destructions would be one of the other things that I would like to see. Oh, we got another SR Bulma. The God of Destruction that I think would be fun if we could get as a playable character would be uh, Champa because we got Beerus. You gotta have his brother Champa as a playable character too. We got Whis. It would be fun to get Whis's sister Vados as a playable character as well. And then I'm not really sure if they would do this but having Shin what a, the Supreme Kai as a playable character would be fun. 
as well. There's definitely like some room for some playable characters here. But we'll see. I know the DLC is gonna be like super superhero related. I think it'd be cool if we got like an older Goten. And we got like young Goten. And I like how that interaction when Goten fights against Bardock, if you have them fight against each other, what he says. Because <laughs> it's funny. What have you guys' as toughest battles been so far? I don't know if I'm going to try ranked mode. I feel like I, I gotta get more practice, but... It's just been fun. Got Goku, Absolute Lightning, Frieza. Ooh, we got another SR, SR Vegeta. So far we've just been pulling SRs in this box. I'm trying to think. It's been a while since I've opened up Blazing Aura, so I can't remember what the, the secrets are, or if there's any like SRs that I still need to get. I think I have gotten quite a few of them with the one that I did open off camera. Oh my gosh. Uh, this form of like Trunks, there's like a Trunks melee version of him and he's bulky as well and I was not winning. Oh, I also feel like it would be funny to have Jocko as a playable character. Uh, yeah. Probably not gonna be a strong character, but I just think it would be pretty funny. The Super Galactic Patrol. Alright, looks like another pack with a later card, so we're not gonna get anything in here. Got a few Zamazu. Also, I really want to unlock the what if Go Gohan Black. I kind of wish he was a playable character, but I understand why he's not. But I think that would be cool if they make him a playable character. I'm also ex looking forward to next month Ultimate Advent. Uh, the card releases so far have been really cool. I, out of the ones that they've released so far, I think it would be cool to get the Vegeta alternate rare. That's really cool. And then I think it's funny that Nappa is like it's a alternate card as well. Right, just a rare. But yeah, the cards are looking crazy. There's definitely a few of those cards that I'm looking forward to opening next month. So be on the lookout for that because I definitely will be opening that set when it comes out. Oh, I also think it would... Pycon. It would be fun if PyCon was one of the guys that is a playable character. Yeah, like in a DLC. Because we got Janimba. Also, this was the other uh, God of Destruction that I think would be fun to play as. Healy's? Healy's? I don't remember how to say her name, but yeah. That would be fun. In my rewatch, currently... We have just finished the battle with Universe 6, I believe, with Champa. So we're leading up to the Tournament of Power. So I'm excited to get to that rewatch part. And then I also think it'd be fun to have Karoni, Pizza, and Perzoki as playable characters just because they're Satan's crew. We can't have Satan, Mr. Satan, without his crew. Uh, yeah, so I think that would be fun. Oh, cute. that Beerus card is always cute. That's so. 
Oh my gosh, look at this Gohan card. I don't have this one, but this SR alternate art Gohan is sick. Yeah, playing Ultimate Gohan in the game is a lot of fun. This one definitely deserves a sleeve. That is really nice. Okay, let's see. I hope we get like an, an SCR possibly in this box that would be nice to pull. I mean, it would be awesome to pull what's considered like the, the god rare, the alternate secret art, but yeah, I highly doubt it, but it would be cool to pull a god rare. I also like that you can customize the outfits uh, for the characters too. I haven't really gotten to a lot into the customization yet, but I think that's that's a cool addition that they added. I kind of wish when you were offline battling locally in the battle mode that you could choose somewhere else other than the hyperbolic time chamber. But it is what it is. It's still a lot of fun. And we got cute little Corin. Also, it would be funny if like Corin or Bubbles or Gregory <laughs> were playable characters. I, I know they would also be pretty weak, but it, it would just be hilarious playing as them. Just a regular rare. All right, we're done with one side. This side didn't really have a whole lot, just the a few SRs and then the alternate rare. This Saiyan man is cute. Right, few Zamazu and then just regular Whis. Regular rare Whis. All right, we got Corin, Goten. This is a playable character in the game, though I haven't unlocked him yet. So I don't know. I heard he's pretty strong, but like the apes are like uh, crazy strong. All right, Vegito. I think there's a cool Vegito, Vegito card in this that it would be fun to get. And then we got Broly. And then we got Zeno. I mean, it would be cool if you could play Zeno in the game, though he would probably be broken and you wouldn't want to be going against Zeno. But yeah, it would be cool to see Zeno in the game, even though you would be at an unfair advantage with Zeno. Oh, I think I just spoiled that. Whoops. Right, let's keep going. Let's see if we can pull anything else. Ooh, nice. We got the SR Android 17. And I'm also not very good at playing the androids because you can't really charge up their energy. You, The energy charges while you're battling, so you just have to wait, which... In a way, it's good because then you don't have to be like find somewhere to like fully charge up. But also, I like the ability to charge up on my own as well. You still would have to charge up to go into sparking mode, but still, I have not gotten used to fighting as an android just yet. Definitely like fighting as one of the Saiyans. The Saiyans. Oh yeah, Goku, Krillin, ooh, we got the SCR Vegito, just the regular SCR, but um, this is sick, nice, I don't have this one, so that is a win, maybe we'll get one more 
nice card, like another SR alternate art or even like an alternate rare card would be nice. This is sick. I also like playing as Vegito. I don't know if I like playing as Vegito or Gogeta better. But like SS4 Gogeta is fun. <laughs> also really like playing as SS4 Vegeta or Goku. I also watched the first episode of Dragon Ball Daima. I think I might wait to watch the rest of it in English when it comes out just because I'm so used to the English voice actors though it, it'll be interesting. It kind of left on a cliffhanger the first episode like teasing you. We got SR Cell. So I don't know. It, it depends. Maybe I'll watch both versions. But meeting Shin's brother was pretty interesting. I think it'll be fun learning about like the demon world. But I'm a little bit confused on exactly like where it takes place in the timeline. Like I kind of understand where it takes place, but at the same time, not really. That's okay. I'm just having fun watching more Dragon Ball related content. Goku Black. I also want to unlock Goku Black. I haven't unlocked him just yet. Ooh, we got the nice Kefla SR. Got that wish. That was so crazy. I'm trying not to spoil anything, but if you know what the wish was, I'm kind of curious how that plays out. Oh, also would be cool if Kami was a playable character. I know they have the fuse Piccolo with Kami and Piccolo, obviously. But yeah, having Kami by himself would be cool. It was fun fighting Nail versus Piccolo. Trunks, Goten, Beerus. I think it would be cool if they had more of the these the trio trio de dangers uh, these wolf characters because they have Bergamo but they don't have Basil or the other one. So maybe they'll add that. Like I don't know if I want Paragus as a playable character just because Paragus kind of sucks. But I played as Captain Ginyu, and he has the change body feature, which if you can get your... If you allow Ginyu to take all that damage, and then your opponent has, like, a lot of health yet left, that's definitely, like, a strategy that you could use. I wasn't the greatest at executing that. One time it was, like, definitely founded on the person I was playing against and then did the body change and then it totally backfired on me. Ooh, this Fuse Amazo is cool. I don't think I have this SR. I don't remember pulling that one. Alright, we got another Vegeta. Define Hammer. Go tanks. Yeah, it's been fun playing as Go Tanks too. <laughs> I haven't played a whole lot. Ooh, look at this SR alternate Zamazu. Alright, so I think those three hits are the three hits for the box, which is pretty good. You don't always you're not always guaranteed three big hits, but this is definitely a good box. I would say this has been a good opening so far. Can we get one more SR 
in this box. Let's see if we can do it. Old Kai. Alright. And Goku Black. Regular rare. We have the last pack. I'm gonna get some last pack magic. Oh, I don't think so. We got a leader card. All leader cards in Ultimate Advent. There's definitely one of those cards that I, I want to pull. I want to get an alternate leader card. I haven't gotten an alternate leader card in the Dragon Ball cards just yet. So definitely want to pull at least one. All right. That was it for this video. I'm going to recap the polls. So we got the SR Goku duel with an assassin. It's so cute with the gold foiling from the critical blow. Then we got the SPR SS3 Goku premonitions of a fierce battle. And now we got, I'll go through the, the SRs first. We got Fuzamazu, got Kefla, Cell. I haven't tried playing as Cell yet, so maybe that's something I'll try. We got Android 17, Vegeta Blue, Bulma, and then Zamazu. And on to these pulls. Oh, I love this Gohan card with the blast. The Kamehameha. It's fun doing Kamehameha with Gohan in the Sparking Zero. So we got Gohan, Zamazu, and we got the SCR Vegito. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in another video.